I will celebrate your goodness. We declare that you are good. Always good. All the time. And your mercy is just for the life. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 We're talking about how to walk righteously and the benefit of righteousness. Praise the Lord. And let's go back to Isaiah 55. Amen. Isaiah 55. Isaiah 55. That's where we were last time. The scripture said. Put it on one. Turn it to one. The scripture said. Isaiah 55. From verse 6. It says, seek here the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. I was talking about keys to living righteously. Amen? And we said number one, to live righteous. Praise the Lord. Amen? Amen. To live righteous, you have to do what? Think righteously. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. We have been made righteous. We are righteous by nature. Praise the Lord. We are what? Righteous by nature. By nature. Say, I'm righteous by nature. I'm righteous by nature. So by nature, I am righteous. God has made me righteous. Not because of what I've done, but because of what Christ has done. Amen? The Bible said in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, the Father made him that knew no sin to become sin for us, so that we might be made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Amen? The Bible said in Romans 5, 17, that they which have received the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life. With Christ Jesus. Amen. We have received Romans 5 17. We have received the abundance of grace. Amen. And we are to reign in life. Praise the Lord. We have received the abundance of grace for the Romans 5 17. For by one man's death, for by one man's offense, death reigned by one much more. They which receive abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. I read the line by one Jesus. Everybody said the gift of righteousness. The gift of righteousness. Gift of righteousness. So now what is a gift? A gift is something given to you. Mm. A gift is not something you work for. Mm. Praise the Lord. Mm. A gift is what is handed over to you. Mm. Amen. So righteousness is a gift from Jesus Christ. He died on the cross. To his blood washed us. Praise the Lord. Mm. By his blood we are justified. The Bible says being justified freely by his grace. Amen. Amen. The blood of Jesus has justified us. Praise Master Jesus. Look at verse 9. Um, Romans 5, 9. Would you, 9. Much more than being now justified by his blood. To be justified is to be declared righteous. So it is by the blood of Jesus we are justified. He said we shall be saved from wrath through him. Amen. The judgment will come. God has exempted us because we are in Christ. Is somebody with me? Yes. So we've been made righteous. So by the by reason of our righteous nature, we are asked to live righteously. You see that? We are expected to do righteously. So somebody, and I explained to us that your spirit man is righteous. Your righteousness is in your spirit. It's not in your soul. It's not in your mind. Praise the Lord. It's a gift that is in your spirit. And the reason why the spirit is righteous is so that the righteous God, the spirit of God can live in us. Praise the Lord. So what do we do with our body? We present our bodies a living sacrifice, pure and holy, which, have, which is our reasonable service. Praise the Lord. And what do we do with our soul, which is our mind, so to say? We, we renew our mind with the word of God. The reason why a believer lives or commits sin is because of his mind and his body. The flesh longs for natural things. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. But we don't, we, to say no to the flesh is the proof, is we practicing righteousness. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Say no, I won't do that. Because Jesus has made me right. And I refuse to be wrong. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Jesus has made me right. And I choose to be right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I will not do that. Uh, Joseph, when Joseph was tempted by Potiphar's wife, Joseph said, how can I sin against God? God has been good to me. Jesus died for me. 
Why should we continue in sin? Should we continue in sin and expect grace to advance? He said, God forbid. Praise the Lord. God forbid. Amen? Amen. So we continue in righteousness and not in sin. Are you still with me? Yes. Amen? So for the, for the key thing there, and I said in verse 7, we said, let the wicked, Isaiah 55, 7, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. So we said, what makes the wicked wicked is because of his ways. And what makes the, a, a, a righteous man righteous is because of his ways. Praise the Lord. So now, the ways, what, what makes us righteous is because we are walking in the ways of God. Praise the Lord. God said, for my thought, I know your thought, neither are your way my way, said the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, the reason why a man is wicked is because of his thoughts. His thoughts become his ways. Praise the Lord. When the thought is wicked, his ways become wicked. When the man's thought is righteous, his way become righteous. So our lifestyle begins at our thoughts. Hello? Proverbs 23, verse 7. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Amen. So when we, the renewing of the mind is thinking righteous thoughts, mm. thinking the word of God. Romans 4, 8 and 9. Let's take you from verse 6. Romans 4, 8 and 9. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. Did I say Romans? Sorry. Philippians 4. Philippians 4 from verse 6. Philippians 4 from verse 6. Now I said, be careful for nothing. Hallelujah. Be careful for nothing. Don't get anxious about anything. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And like I always say, the antidote for stress is prayer. The antidote for anxiety is prayer. Praise the Lord. The antidote. Amen? Amen. Is what? Prayer. Praise the Lord. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Amen? Verse 7 now. Verse 7, please. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. When you have prayed, the peace of God is the umpire of our soul. When you receive peace, that means God has heard you and answered your prayer. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And that is what and the enemy always fight to take our peace. The absence of peace is confusion. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And when the child of God is living in disobedience, the first thing that they lose is peace. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And we don't want to lose our peace. Verse 8 says. Verse 8. Finally, brethren. This is where I'm going to. We're talking about. Thank you, right? Praise the Lord. Thank you, right? Finally, brethren, what things soever are true, what things soever are honest, what things soever are just, what things soever are pure, what things soever are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, it says, think on these things. Praise the Lord. Let her take it. Let her take it. Let her take it. Think on this thing. Somebody say, think on this thing. Think on this thing. Say, think on this thing. Think on this thing. Say, think on this thing. Think on this thing. I said, but let's think on this thing. Think on this thing. Hello? So God is telling us what to think on. Praise the Lord. What to think on. What to think on. The conflict of the Christian, especially our children, they go to school, they are taught secularly. Mm. Our friends do things secularly because they are not saved. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And they come home, we are teaching them about the things of God. Mm. Amen? Amen? And because sometimes they are under pressure, they want to do what their friends are doing. Which leads to death. Mm -hmm. The ways of the world leads oh, to death. Yes. It is no game. It's, it's not fun. Really Praise the Lord. Only the things of God leads to life and peace. Mm. So the Bible is telling us, think on these things. What is lovely? What is true? 
What is honest? What is just? What is pure? What is lovely? What is of good report? What is virtuous? The scripture. The word of God. Do you understand? And that is why the, God said to Joshua in the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 5 to 8 when God called Joshua and was talking to Joshua put verse 8 you know wait, 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 wait. let's read verse 9 here before we go to Joshua just go to verse 9 somebody say think on these things think on these things. things now he said those things we should have both learned mm. and received mm. and heard yes. and seen in me do yes. practice mm. think it mm. and practice it this is how the key to working in righteousness yes. He said, think, first of all, is let it be your thinking. Change your mind. Mindset. Your mindset. Don't adopt, adopt the worldly mindset. Mm -hmm. Don't adopt the culture of the society. No. Because it is right does not mean, because it looks right does not mean it's right. Praise the Lord. Miles Moreau said, not every right is right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even the right, the right to abortion is not the right mm -hmm. from God. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. The right for gay marriage is not a right from God. Just because the government give a right does not mean it's right before God. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not right before God. Amen? Amen. He said these things do. The word do is practice. Mm. Somebody said do. 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 Amen? Just do it. Mm, <laughs> Amen? Like night we say. Just do it. Mm. Do what the, the, the things you are learning. That's why we come to church. We come to church to learn, to receive, to hear, and to see. Amen? He said, do. And the God of peace shall be with you. Praise the Lord. The God of peace shall be with you. Amen? Amen. So, he said, think on these things. <laughs> think, let your dwelling place be what God says. Praise the Lord. What God says. In every matter of life, God has opinion about it. And a child of God listen to what God said. The master said, my sheep know my voice. They hear my voice. The voice of the strangers, they will not hear. The voice of the stranger is media. The voice of the stranger is worldly music. Worldly rap. Amen. Worldly game. These are the voice of the stranger. Praise the Lord. Amen? Amen. All that, that, that are in the world, the Bible calls it the lost of the world, the lost of the flesh, the pride of life. Amen? It said, it is not of the Father. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is not of the Father. Amen? Amen. It is not of the Father. All the Instagrams, mm. all the, the, the Facebook, all the Snapchat and all of them. All the information, 95% of the information, unless the one the Christians put out, are uh, what? The voice of the stranger. So please, we pray our children will not hear them. Amen. They will not listen to them. Amen. It will not sink into their brain. Amen. But the word of God is inside of their heart. Amen. David said, where which shall a young man cleanse his brain? Yeah. He said, by taking heed there to according to the word of God. Are you following what I'm saying? What which shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking it. Psalm 119, verse 9. Psalm 119, let's take it from verse 7 to verse 9. Psalm 119. Praise the Lord. Thinking righteous thoughts. Amen. The key to living the righteous life is what? Thinking righteous thoughts. Praise the Lord. Amen. When you think righteously, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You will talk righteously. You will act yeah. righteously. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you cannot think righteous, you cannot talk yes. righteous. Praise the Lord. Are you there? Psalm 119 verse 7. Psalm 119. Holy is the Lord. Amen? Amen. Psalm 119, verse seven. from verse 7. Okay. 
Jump, just go direct to verse 9. He said, Wherewith shall a young man cleanse his way? Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Wherewith shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking him there to according to the word. Put the amplifier. Let's see. He said, How shall a young man cleanse his way? Praise the Lord. I said, What, what make a man wicked is his way. What make his way wicked is his thoughts. Praise the Lord. And the Bible tells us what to think on. For as a man thinketh, so is he. To live righteously is to think righteously. Praise the Lord. He said, How shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking in and keeping watch on himself. According to your word, conforming his life to it. Confirming the, your, our lives to the word of God. That is how we cleanse our way. Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 The same time he said, you know, he said, your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is verse 105. But let's, let's look at Good, good. Verse 10. He said, with my whole heart have I sought you. Praise the Lord. Amen. With my whole heart I have sought you, inquiring for and of you and yearning for you. Oh, let me not wander and step aside, mm. either in ignorance or willfully from your commandments. <laughs> let me not what? Wander or step aside. Praise the Lord. So to wander from the commandment is to, is to, is to go into error. Amen? To step aside out of the commandment of God is to go into error. Mm -hmm. So his prayer is, let me not wander or step aside. Mm -hmm. Either in ignorance or willfully. Mm -hmm. Ignorance and willfully. What does ignorance when you when you don't know the will of God or you are, and you do something that is ignorant. What happened? The Jesus said, he that knows what is right to do mm -hmm. and did not do it. Mm -hmm. He said, shall be beaten with few stripes. Praise he that knows his master will and does not do it. <coughs> Amen? Amen? Because he doesn't know. He said he shall be beaten with few stripes. He said, but he that knows it, mm. praise the Lord, Amen. and still did not do it, praise the Lord. He said he shall be beaten with more stripes. Mm. So, <laughs> praise the Lord. Oh. So, we fully, when you ignorantly do something, there are also consequences. Mm. God forgives. But there are consequences. But when you willfully do it, that's rebellion. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. He said, either ignorantly or willfully, may I not depart from the commandment of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Look at verse 11. We're talking about keys to walk in righteousness. He said, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin again. The key to walk in righteousness. This is, this is the process of the renewing of your mind. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the process of our renewing our mind. Of course, when a child is learning to walk, they stumble. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We don't spank them because they stumble. Because they are learning to walk. We encourage them to get up and keep on walking. When we are a child, a child of God learning to walk and stumble. Amen. Ignorantly. But God does not keep them out. God encourages them to stand up and keep working rightly. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Like the illustration I was giving, you know, the, 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 I was talking to the, the man that my wife's worked for, you know, and uh, I was trying, he was asking me to help him claim some certain things some table, and there were glasses there. He said to me, if anything broke, just don't worry. He said, well, just let me claim it. If anything broke, just don't worry. You know, the illustration came back to my mind. I was using the, the book. He said, if anything broke, don't just worry about it. But just go about your business. Amen? So, then I was careful to claim the place and nothing broke. So now, if he had said to me, because he said to me, if anything break, don't just worry. Then I begin to take things and I'll be, care and be careless and break things. Mm -hmm. No. So that is what Jesus meant by little children write unto you that you sin not. He said, but if you do sin, 
We have an advocate, Jesus Christ, our Jesus. In other words, sometimes we are tempted and we stumble, but we don't stay in sin and we don't continue in sin. That is what the Bible meant by he that is born of God does not commit sin. In other words, he does not live in sin and enjoy sin. No. Because his conscience judged him. And he will not want to continue that way because his nature is right. Mm. And he wants to conform to the will of God. Mm. Praise the Lord. Mm. And he will repent and step out and cut it off. Mm. Jesus said, if your right hand causes you to sin, he said, cut it off. In other words, anything that will make you go to hell, he said, it's better to go to hell without one hand. We had the testimony of Sister Susanna Sunday. Praise the Lord. That day he, the rapture was taking place and the Lord was telling me, you have to do this and do this and do that. And these are the things some people think does not matter. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's better to lose one eye or one hand mm. than and go to hell. I mean, it's better to go to hell whole than to, I mean, it's better to go to hell with one hand cut short than to go to hell whole. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what it say. It say, your word have I he laid, laid up in my heart. The traditional King James said, heed. Hide the word of God in your heart. The Bible is not for the head, it's for the heart. It does not work in the head. <coughs> Do you understand? In the head, it's trying to plant, plant apple in the lilac bag. Praise the Lord. <laughs> or in the flower pot. You can't plant apple in the flower pot. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Is it possible? No. Can you plant an apple in the flower pot? No. An apple tree? Yes. No. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You can put small flower in the flower pot, but not apple. Amen? So the word of God does not, does not prosper in the head. The head is the access to the heart. The soil, Jesus said, the soil is the heart. Do you understand? And how does the word of God goes from the head to the heart? It's by thinking on it. Meditation. It's called meditation. The word, the, the one that worldly people stole and, and turned to yoga. No, it's, it's God that introduced meditation. The Bible said Isaac went into the field to meditate. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and Paul said to Timothy, Apostle Paul said to Timothy, he said, meditate on these things. Praise the Lord. To think, to meditate, to think. Praise the Lord. Yoga is wrong because you open your spirit to all kinds of devils or demons. So there is the word yoga should not even be labeled with Christians. Praise the Lord. What Christian practice, our discipline is meditation. What do we meditate? We meditate on the scripture, on God, on Christ, on the cross. Praise the Lord. Because if you meditate on anything outside the scripture, the demons will show up. Oh, yes. How do people get possessed? Mm. It's by meditating on astral things. All the false prophets is when they went, they said they want to seek God. And they went without scriptures to the mountain. They saw angels. So-called angels, quote unquote. But they were not God's angels. To seek God into the realm of the spirit, you must come through Jesus Christ. You must come with the scripture. You must meditate on the scripture that the Holy Spirit will appear. The angels of God will appear. Praise the Lord. But we just go for meditation, meditating, say. Say you are meditating on the universe. Praise the Lord. No, you can't meditate on the universe. You meditate on the God of the universe. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody with me. Yes. So thinking righteously. He said, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. Let's go to Joshua chapter 1. Josh, Joshua chapter 1 from this. Now Joshua was, at, was taking over the, command, the, 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 the leadership chart in the place of Moses. Praise the Lord. And Joshua said to, God said to Joshua, if you want to be a success, here is the key. Joshua chapter 1. Are you there? Joshua, let's take it from verse 5. Joshua 1 5. God is saying to Joshua, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now it's your turn to lead. Praise the Lord. The Bible actually called him Moses' minister. 
Praise the Lord. He was Moses' minister. Amen. Amen. Now Moses is out of the picture. Now he is the one in charge. Praise the Lord. He said, there shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so will I be with you. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Praise the Lord. Oh, that's all we need Hallelujah. to go. The Lord is with us. Amen. He will not leave us. He will not forsake us. And the Lord has been with us. He has not left us. He has not forsook us. Amen. And he will never leave us, nor forsake us. It's our assurance. It's our blessed assurance. Glory to God. He said, be strong and of a good courage. For unto these people shall thou divide for inheritance the land, which I swear unto your fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law, which Moses my servant command you. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou may prosper whithsoever thou goest. Hallelujah. He said the key to prospering wherever you go is keeping my word. Obedience is the key. Amen. Verse 8, he said now, the book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. But you shall meditate. Somebody say meditate. Yes. meditate. So it's not yoga, med yoga meditation. It's scriptural meditation. That's what Christians do. Amen. They will say it will not harm you. It just relaxes your body. No, use scripture to relax your body. So there is no better medicine than the word of God. The Bible says he, it is life to those who find it. And it is medicine to their flesh. Wow. Amen. The reprint said, the reading of the word of God anoint your spirit. Mm. Did you hear that? Mm. The reading of the word of God anoints your spirit. It's like when the man anoints his shield mm. for battle. Mm. When you anoint your cutlass. Mm. Amen? Praise the Lord. So, so, what anoint our spirit is the word of God. So that is why a believer that does not read the Bible, praise the Lord, it's weak. You cannot be a strong Christian without the scripture. Praise the Lord. To be a strong Christian, you must be a reader and a studier and a meditator, whatever grammar we want to say. Of the scripture. Amen. He said the reading of the word anoint your spirit. Praise the Lord. It's not pr in prayer, create an atmosphere. Praise the Lord. But the word of God is the seed. Amen? The word of God is the seed. It is difficult to have faith without the scripture. It is the meditation of the word of God that gives faith in your heart. Is somebody with me? Amen? Are you with me? So it's the meditation of the word of God that puts this faith in your heart. He said, this book, this is God talking to Joshua. This is not Moses talking to Joshua. Hello? Hello. He said, the book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate therein sometimes. Every other week. Every other day. Is that what he said? He said, you shall meditate on it there is day and night. Why? That thou may observe to do according to all that is written there. Mm -hmm. For then shall you make your way. You shall make your way. Not me making your way. By my word, you make your way. You shall make your way prosperous. And then you shall have a good success. Not just success. But good sources. Somebody say good sources. Good sources. Put the amplified blessed word. Oh Jesus, help us. Sometimes we substitute prayer. I am I am guilty myself. We substitute prayer for the meditation of God's word. It's not so to be. It's not supposed to be so. Amen. There must be a balance. Amen. Do you know that reading of the scripture is prayer? Mm -hmm. oh, yes. The meditation of the scripture is prayer. Mm -hmm. It's prayer. Mm -hmm. It's more effective prayer than just prayer requests. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Just reading the word alone is prayer. You are reading God. Mm -hmm. You are studying God. Mm -hmm. Your mind is on God. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. He said the book of the Lord 
shall not depart out of your mouth. Excuse me. But you shall meditate on it day and night, that you may observe and do. So it takes a meditation on the word to be able to observe, to comply, to conform your life to it. Praise the Lord. If you don't meditate on it, if you don't think about it, you cannot practice it. Praise the Lord. Because spiritual warfare, that may probably be my next subject now. Spiritual warfare is, is, is Satan exalting his knowledge above the knowledge of God in your life. Are you following what I'm saying? Because the knowledge, what was stored up in your system, in your hard disk, is what you live by. If what is in your hard disk is not scripture, you cannot conform to it. Amen? Amen. But it, it, whatever you have in your memory, in your hard disk, that is what your computer releases. It's garbage in, garbage out. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's in. So, we have been made righteous. For us to live righteously, we need to stop in our hard disk, hidden in our hearts, the word of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what makes a strong Christian, a matured Christian. He said, the book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night. You should, that you may observe and do according to all that is written in it. For you shall make your way prosperous. I receive. You shall make your way. Hallelujah. By the word of God, you make your way. What happens when you meditate? Faith comes. By faith, all things are possible to them that believe. That's what the scripture says. All things are possible. There is a confidence that comes in you, on you, when you walk in the knowledge of God. The Bible says, they that know their God shall be one. They shall be strong and they shall do as well. That is Daniel 11 32. Don't put it on the screen. I just said it. You shall make your way prosper. Then you shall deal wisely and have good success. You shall do what? Deal wisely and have good success. Why? By not letting the book of the law. According to us now, to translate that, we'll call it the word of his grace. Somebody say the word of his grace. The word of his grace. Oh, Rabashi Takoba. The book of his law, uh, and that's what God said to, to Joseph because that was what was available. But under the New Testament, it is the word of his grace. Let, it said the word, so we can put it, let this, the, the, this word of his grace not depart out of your mind. But you shall meditate on it day and night that you may observe it and do according to all that is written in it. But then you shall make your way prosperous and you shall have good success. Amen? Amen. That is Acts, Acts of Apostle 20, 32. Acts of Apostle 20, 32. To just show you the word of his grace. That is what new, the New Testament, the, the revelation, the whole revelation that we deal with as New Testament saints is the word of his grace. He said, and now brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace. Which is able to build you up. Somebody say, build me up. Yeah. What we build a believer up yeah. is the word of his grace. Praise the Lord. Yeah. It's able to do what? Build you up and to give you an inheritance among them. Among all them which are sanctified. Did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. Amen. It is the word of his grace that you receive and meditate on. It's what built you up. And it's what gave to you. And is that not, it's in line, it's in correlation with that scripture. You shall make your way prosper. You shall have good success. This is the New Testament application. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. And to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up, edify you, to build you up. It's like a skyscraper being built up. Hallelujah. Amen? In the realm of the spirit, you are going up and up and up and up and up. Build you up and to give you an inheritance among God then. We shall what? Sanctified. So there is an inheritance for those who are sanctified. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Number two key, you know, number two key in, in working in righteousness. Let's look at it. I thought I would get to 
a lot of the benefits today. Go to Psalm 45. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Spirit of grace. Spirit of the living God, I love you. I yield to you. You are the con you are the content. I am the container. Psalm 45, let's look at it. Verse 6. Concerning the Messiah. The scripture says Psalm 45, verse 6. Are you there? The second king to walk in righteousness, in righteousness to manifest in your righteous nature and character. Amen. Actually, I think this comes first before the other one. Amen. This one comes first before the thinking. Amen. Look at it. It said, Thy true no God is forever and ever. The scepter of your kingdom is the right scepter. It's talking prophetically talking about Christ. Amen. Verse 7. It said, Thou lovest righteousness and hates iniquity. Praise the Lord. You love righteousness and hate iniquity. Praise the Lord. The key to walking in righteousness is to love righteousness. righteousness. Amen? Because what you love, you naturally respond to. Praise the Lord. You gravitate. We all gravitate towards what we love. Praise the Lord. Those of us who love ice cream, those of us who love our father, <laughs> we are always looking for our father. Amen? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Those of us who love chin chin and biscuits, Amen. Those who love pipe. <laughs> Amen. And tea bun steak. They are always looking for tea bun steak. Praise the Lord. What a man loves, they naturally gravitate towards them. Praise the Lord. He said, You love righteousness. Do you love righteousness? Mm. What does it mean to love righteousness? To love righteousness is to have a desire to do what is right at all costs. Amen? It's a decision to do what is right at all costs. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen? A decision to do what is right at all costs. Why? Because God is watching. Amen? Amen. It is an innate desire to please God. In view of the mercies you have received, in view of the salvation you have received, you want to do everything to please God. You love God. Praise the Lord. You love righteousness. The Bible says, because Jesus loved righteousness. Amen? You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Some of us, we love righteousness and we also love wickedness. And some of us will love righteousness, but we don't hate wickedness. We tolerate and common, accommodate wickedness. That is why we are tempted to fall. A child of God, we are we ought to love righteousness and hate wickedness. Praise the Lord. What is righteousness? The will of God. What is wickedness? Anything contrary to the will of God. It doesn't matter who said it. Even if the government of the land approve of it and God disapprove of it, we stand with God. We stand with the Bible. Praise the Lord. The Bible is right. The Bible said the word of the Lord is right. Praise the Lord. That is Psalm 33 verse 4. It said the word of the Lord is right. Praise the Lord. For the word of the Lord is what? It's right. It's right. I mean it's righteous. And all his works are done in truth. Every work of God are done in truth and faithfulness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It does not matter what anybody may think or feel. The Bible said the word of the Lord is right. Whatever God says is right, is right. Whatever God said is wrong, is wrong. Even when we are unable to walk in it, we still agree that God's will be done. Amen. Do you understand? Yes. Say for the word of the Lord is right. And all his works are done in truth. Amen? Go back to Psalm 45. Verse 7. You love righteousness and hate wickedness. That's what we need to know. To work righteously, you have to love righteousness. You have to hate wickedness. What 
happen. He said, thy God has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above all thy fellow. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because you love righteousness. Mm. Amen? Amen? Because you love righteousness. Amen? Amen. And yet we can just put amplifier on the screen. Praise the Lord. The amplified version. It said, you love righteousness, uprightness, and right standing with God, and hate wickedness. Praise the Lord. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above all your fellows. When you love righteousness, the benefit of righteous and loving righteousness, it said, God anoints you with the oil of gladness. Do you understand what I'm saying? You carry an oil you carry an anointing. Mm. Praise the Lord. Mm. Those who love righteousness and hate wickedness who carry mm. abiding anointing of God. Carry perpetual manifest and oil mm. of God. Praise the Lord. Mm. And that oil of God upon your head mm. make you glad. Mm. <laughs> make you joyful. Amen? Amen? To do what is right. You, we, we feel good every time we do what is right. Mm. Gladness, mm. peace. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He, he said, The oil of gladness follows you. Mm. You are always joyful. Mm. You are not depressed. You are not discouraged. Mm. Why? Because you love righteousness. You do what is right, even when no one is watching. Because you know that God is watching. Mm -hmm. There is no darkness as far as God is concerned. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Read Psalm 139. David said, Where can I hide from mm. God? If I go to the bottom of the pit, he is there. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, understanding the watchful eye of God makes us live righteous and also gives us confidence Amen. that God is Amen. watching over us. That he will take care of us. Amen. Two things. Amen. So, you don't want to do what is wrong in his eyes, knowing that he's in you. Not, he, he's in you yeah. as a child of God. We are his temple, the Bible says. Amen. Amen. Because you love righteousness, therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness. Above all your fellows, praise the Lord. God reward those who diligently seek him. There is the reward of righteousness. Those who live righteous carry oil. Praise the Lord. That's number one benefit. Amen. I said this is number one benefit. Benefit, not the key. The key to live is number two key to walk in righteousness. Actually, this is number one. The other one is number two. Praise the Lord. In order, if you want to put it in order, but they are both key. You have to love righteousness. And you, the way to, 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 to execute it is to begin to think righteous thoughts, which is the word of God. Praise the Lord. And the reward of righteousness, the benefit of righteousness, is said, therefore, God, your God, anoints you. With the oil of gladness. That's number one reward there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I think I'll leave you there for today. The Amen. Lord had blessing Amen. to the reading of his word. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 8 declare. All your garments shall all your garments smell of mar and aloes and kesha and of the ivory palaces whereby they have made thee glad. Praise the Lord. King's daughter, among your honorable women, upon your right hand, this stand the queen in gold of offer. So benefit, just continue. Praise the Lord. Amen. We'll continue next time. But the key thing there, that God anoints you with the oil of gladness Amen. above your fellow. Amen. Doing your righteous, make you glad. Make you happy. Praise the Lord. And releases happiness and doffing. In your body. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Lord. 